Hello everyone and welcome to Kauai! Yeah. Okay. <laughs> to vlogging in a car just gently hold you but hello and welcome to the kawaii vlog at least number one maybe there will be two i'm cassie i live in new york city but i'm here on the beautiful island of Kauai for the next 10 days cat sitting my dad has a couple friends who moved here about two years ago and they have a cat they needed a cat sitter and they always just invite their friends to come stay at their home um while they're gone and they asked my dad if he could come but he was busy and he was like maybe guess who wants to go and hell yeah i want to come to hawaii for 10 days i arrived late last night today's friday i have the next few days to myself before my roommate back in new york melanie comes and joins me late monday night so we've got some solo days here we've got some friend days here, lots of adventures to be had. But it is the morning today on my first day. I woke up around six this morning. Hawaii is six hours behind New York time. So my body clock is still a little funky. It's about 11 right now. I just dropped my host off at the airport. I had a chill morning, just drank coffee and had some brekkie. And now I'm at Safeway. I'm gonna do a little grocery shop, go get settled back at the house. And then my goal for this trip is to go in the ocean every single day so i'm definitely gonna go to the beach for a little bit later today take a dip but i'll probably honestly mostly just lay low today because yesterday was a long ass travel day as you saw in my last vlog i just wanted to say hello happy you're here i'm happy i'm here and let's enjoy some vacation this is the first real vacation i've had in like two years it feels good to rest lord knows i Hawaii grocery haul. I had heard the rumors, the legends, that groceries are very expensive in Hawaii. Coming from New York City, I was like, it's gonna be fine. Uh, I just spent $68 and I didn't really get a lot of stuff. I'm kind of by a busy road, so hopefully you can't hear all the noise too much. Yeah, I spent a lot of money. Some of these things, like I got coffee creamer, I'm probably only gonna buy once while I'm here. There's some things like that, but I didn't get that much stuff. It's okay, I'm on vacation. Here's what I got. Watermelon, pineapple, you gotta get fruit, some cherry tomatoes. I think I'm just gonna do a really simple tomato basil pasta tonight for dinner. Basil, garlic. I'm a coffee creamer girly. I got oat milk creamer, French vanilla flavor. It's yummy. Red pepper, passion orange guava juice. I know you can buy that in other places, but I'm in Hawaii. I gotta drink it. Greek yogurt, Tillamook sharp cheddar cheese, crackers, just for a little snack to have around. Angel hair pasta for my pasta tonight. My extra fun items, which this is not sealed very well. Got spicy tuna roll and kawaii kombucha endless summer flavor. This is strawberry guava. So I'm very excited to try this. Local kombucha, hell yeah. See, like this was $7 alone. That's crazy, but you just gotta. So it's noon now. I'm gonna put my groceries away. Probably have a snack. I think I'm gonna rooster. <laughs> and then I'm gonna eat some fruit and chill for a sec. And then I'll see where the day takes me. You must meet Princess Ahi. The reason I am here, this sweet, sweet angel. <laughs>
certain I did not adequately sunscreen the entirety of my upper body. Getting your back is hard when you're by yourself. But um, I put on my swimsuit, sunscreened my upper body. I finished a book, prepped those tomatoes. They're marinating in garlic and basil for my pasta. It's quite the bird call. I'm gonna head to the beach. I kind of just want to like sit for a sec, take a dip. Then I'll probably head back here before too long. The sun will still be at its peak for a hot sec. I can take my dip and then eat a good dinner and hopefully get a good night of sleep. That's what I'm really looking forward to. I'm feeling tired already. <laughs> I mean, if it's 3.30 here, then it's, I don't, I'm not gonna do the math. It's late in New York, it's like nighttime. I'm gonna do my legs when I get there. Just packed a little beach bag. So let's go to the beach. First dip complete. yogurt all over myself so I had to change now I'm wearing this lovely little thrifted nightgown situation but hello good morning last night I ate my dinner read my book and went to bed at 8 p.m. I could have fallen asleep earlier but I kind of like forced myself to stay awake till 8 o'clock slept really well woke up at 5 ish and then kind of like laid in my bed for another hour closing my eyes relaxing waking up fully I did my physical therapy exercises some stretching just ate brekkie out on the porch, took my vitamins, and now I'm gonna get my coffee. Put some coffee in the fridge yesterday so I could have iced coffee, and I'm really excited about it. I hope it doesn't make my tummy hurt. I'm also gonna have some of my guava juice. I also had a vlog go up today, which feels good. There's probably so much background noise. I have all the windows open and I'm kind of on a busy street. Plus there are roosters going wild these guys have been screaming at each other all morning long so i'm not sure how amazing the audio is going to be in all these clips this is such a good juice and i got french vanilla creamer i feel like creamer is such a treat i know it's probably not that good for you especially the sweet ones although four grams of sugar is not bad i don't know what the hell could be in it Yeah, I think I'm actually going to do a little bit of editing. I'm feeling inspired to finish up my vlog of my journey here. I wanna to go to the beach today, but I probably won't go until later, at least like late morning. So it's 7.30 right now. I'm gonna spend the next couple of hours dinking around basically and consuming my beverages. Got a little beach bag packed. It is 11.22. It looks kind of cloudy, but I just sunscreened up, obviously. It's still gonna be sunny. Hopefully the clouds burn off, but regardless, I'm going to the beach. Let's hit it. almost four now. I was there for almost four hours. I think I got a little sun, but I don't seem to be 
sunburnt in a bad way. I did sunscreen before I went and after I got in the ocean, I reapplied. So I definitely got a little sun, but I think I'm doing okay so far. But I'm kind of in the mood for a little drive. So I think I'm going to take the convertible that is available to me and drive up to Hanalei. My host told me that it's kind of like a lovely little town to explore. I'm kind of in the mood just for a drive right now. So I might get out and walk around. I'll see how I'm feeling when I get there. Cruise on up, see what there is to see see more of the beautiful Hawaiian coast. I'll come back here before it gets too late. Got like three more hours of daylight left. Once the sun goes down, I am gonna be tired again. That is A-OK -okay with me. Honestly, rising with the sun and sleeping with the sun is great for me. So I'm gonna drink a bunch more water. Definitely haven't had enough today. Add my little beach snacks and I just read my book. I'm reading Real Americans, Rachel Kong. Really good. I found it on a random Goodreads list, I think. I've had it on hold for a while and I'm really enjoying it. It's an interesting story. I haven't showered yet, I'm still sunscreeny, so I just threw on a tank top and my skirt, and I'm gonna take a drive. Hello everyone. I'm gonna try and use my phone as a microphone. I don't know how well this is going to work or if you'll still be able to hear all the roosters in the background, but we're gonna test it out for this clip and I'll see when I edit it, how it goes. I've been thinking about getting some kind of microphone, but the camera I use isn't compatible with a lot of wireless mics. It's a whole thing that is irrelevant to you, but uh, good morning. It is 9.30. I slept in until 6.30 this morning and then I only had about 100 pages left in my book, so I just woke up, drank a bunch of water. Water is my mission for today. I didn't drink enough water yesterday. My pee was way too yellow this morning and I've already had one and a half bottles of water. Had a little cup of coffee. I only had 100 pages left in my book. I think I literally just said that. So I just finished it. Real Americans by Rachel Kong. It was really, really good. It wasn't exactly what I expected it to be. And it was kind of long, but I love a story that spans generations and just like tells a story about people's lives. I think it might have been one of my favorite books I've read this year so far. So highly recommend. I found it on a random Goodreads list and I just loved it. Next, I'm going to start The Book of Love. I don't know who it's by, but I've just been enjoying myself in the sunshine. I FaceTimed with a couple of buddies this morning that I hadn't talked to in a while, so that was nice to catch up. The sun has been glaring down on me, but it just went behind a cloud, which honestly feels kind of nice. I was starting to sweat. I'm going to go do my movement now. Still need to eat a little brekkie. I'm gonna do a little tarot reading for a friend and probably one for myself too. I brought my tarot cards with me and I've been trying to get into my intuition. I feel like my intuition and just like my connection to myself in general has been a little rocky with all of the chronic pain stuff and health random issues I've been dealing with. I have felt a general kind of mistrust of myself or not mistrust but lack of trust for sure. Uh, both like having trouble trusting my body because there's a lot going on in it as well as trusting my mind and who I want to be. I'm trying to use tarot as a little tool to dig in. I did a career reading for myself yesterday that honestly kind of spooked me so yeah anyways I love all that kind of witchy stuff. I'm gonna go do my stuff and we'll see what we get into today. I don't know what I want to do yet and that feels great. There's a lot of like yard work going on outside. I came to my bedroom as a little safe, quiet space. I'm looking at some trees blowing in the wind. Actually, it's bamboo. It's a bunch of bamboo here. Cool. Yesterday I did literally nothing. I mean, I guess not literally nothing. I did some things, but I did not leave the house. That might be my one day of not actually fulfilling my goal of dipping in the ocean every day, but I was feeling so lazy. Finished my book in the morning, chatted with my friends, which I think I chatted with you after. I sat and did tarot. I did a reading for my friend and then I did some like stuff for me for so long, which was really fun. Did a ton of journaling, read some more books, downloaded some more books, just kind of like dinked around on Pinterest, looked at recipes. I watched Crazy Rich Asians. Like I just kind of boop, 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 like dinked around while sitting out on the back porch and it was great. I had a 
fabulous day. So after that lazy day, today is my last solo day here. Mel gets here tonight. Today was the day I assigned myself to do some adulting. It's almost noon. I woke up a little before seven, did my movement, physical therapy kind of stuff, had some breakfast, and then I just did some job applications, did some research on health insurance, did some things I've been procrastinating while I've been a little burnt out in New York. I set this day for myself to kind of like, I've had a couple days to relax and chill and do nothing, have a morning to get to work. I did it. So yay me. And now I'm gonna celebrate by going and getting something to eat. There's a food truck that I think I can walk to that my host told me has really good fish tostadas. That's what I want. That's what I'm setting out for. And then I'm gonna go to the beach because I do need to get my ocean time in today. I'm actually excited for Mel to be here so that I can spend some more time in the ocean because I've kind of been taking quick dips. I haven't wanted to leave my stuff unattended for too long even though it seems safe and okay i just have anxiety like i don't want to worry about that kind of stuff i'm excited for her to be here so sh i can just kind of like flounder while she watches our stuff and we can trade off i am gonna take a dip today probably go to the same beach i've been going to i'll put the name right here it's very close to where i'm staying as mel is here later this week i made a list of things for us to do and like other places for us to go i think we will probably journey to other beaches anyways i'm wearing a black tank top the same black skirt I've been wearing. I just put a little sunscreen on my exposed areas and then I'll do another good sunscreen before I go to the beach. Final solo day in Hawaii. I'm feeling like I'm starting to recharge. I was at a pretty low baseline. I'm doing my best. Okay, now the yard work is coming over here, so let's head out. My hair looks crazy because I had my hat on when I first got out of the water. <laughs> but I had a nice sit. I talked on the phone with my mom for a little bit, downloaded the house in the Cerulean Sea, which I'm excited to read. I had recommended to me by a couple of people that say it's just a lovely read. So I also downloaded the Crazy Rich Asian series. <laughs> I've read it once before. I love that movie too. I watched the movie yesterday and cried my eyes out. I always cry at the wedding scene. Every time I'm like, this isn't gonna make me cry. And every time when the water starts flowing, when they make eye contact, ah. I sobbed, almost five right now. Originally Mel's flight was supposed to land at 9.30, but it's been majorly delayed so now she's not gonna get here until close to midnight. So I've been going to bed at eight every night. I'm gonna take my shower and rinse off all my sand and sunscreen and salt, etc. But um, I'm kind of like, should I go to bed at eight and sleep for a couple hours and then wake back up? Right now, clearly I need to bathe. I'm looking a little fluffy. Peace. 